Yes, the Petirumina PPR is a contagious viral disease. It threatens 80% of the world's sheep and goat population, kills at 90% of the animals it infects, and is present in more than 70 countries worldwide. Its occurrence in West Africa constitutes an animal health emergency because of its rapid spread, the significant economic losses it causes, and its direct impact on food and nutrition security, especially on women and other vulnerable groups. In response to this sketch, the ECOWAS Commission through its RAC has put in place a regional strategy to control and eradicate the disease. With the financial support of the Swiss cooperation, it organized a first coordinated mass vaccination campaign against PPR in December 2019 in Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone. This campaign reached over 1,600,000 small ruminants. The 2022 mass vaccination campaign is the second round of the process with nearly 5 million doses of vaccine and extends to five other countries namely Côte d'Ivoire, the Gambia, Ghana, Guinea-Bissau and Senegal. ECOWAS is also involved in knowledge and experience sharing with peers on the prevention and management of transboundary animal diseases and zoonoses. The various actions undertaken by the ECOWAS Commission and its partners, especially the Swiss cooperation and its member states, have highlighted that 1. A cheap and efficient vaccine is available in the region. 2. The inoculation of one dose of vaccine can provide a long-lasting immunity. The global goal of controlling and eradicating PPR by 2030 is therefore achievable in West Africa as PPR can be diagnosed effectively and reliably affordable and high quality vaccine can be produced in the region. The progressive mass vaccination campaign against PPR under the leadership of the ECOWAS Commission aims to eventually cover all 15 ECOWAS member states as part of the control and eradication of PPR and other priority animal diseases. The response will be pursued through regional approaches to diseases control and eradication involving consolidation of achievements, coordinated mass vaccination campaigns, active epidemiological surveillance, strengthening of veterinary service delivery, capacity building of human and veterinary services, and rigorous monitoring and control of actions.